Hello everyone, this is a 32, and it is time, once again, for another edition of What's on Deck, and we've got lots to talk about, I'm sure. And, um, first of all, by the way, check out this guy over here, Mystery View. He's a, he's a, a deck reviewer, relatively new, <laughs> pretty interesting reviews. And, uh, you can see the link to that channel on my channel page, as well as various other good deck review channels that you should check out if you're interested in playing cards but of course mine tops them all because i've got the biggest variety of deck reviews you'll find anywhere i'm fairly certain so um that is that let's move on to what's going on in the world of kickstarter after a little shameless promotion <laughs> first of all we got the bicycle four seasons autumn playing cards from collectible playing cards which is funded 18 days to go surprising considering the spring edition did not do so well it didn't fun but this one is which is good news and hopefully the other ones will make it as well huh. they should do they, they, they're doing this one now they should do the winter one in the winter the spring one in the spring and the summer one next summer <laughs> i don't know that would be kind of interesting uh obviously uspc produced nice bat design simple kind of standard recolored spaces pretty cool the 1998 deck of hip hop playing cards by the well, the, the same name, 1998 deck. He's funded six days to go. Um, it's 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 okay for what it is. It's pretty cool, but mm, not something that I'm going to be interested in. Then we got Chameleon playing cards, which is not even spelled correctly, but it is what it is. By Carter Street Collective. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be spelled correctly. It's just a name. It's by Cards to Collective. It is 80% funded, 14 days to go. I'm so it's just a matter of time. Um, again, I'm not overly interested. It just looks like a s snake skin back design, basically. Um, but it's okay for what it is. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned that one last week, even the week before. Multiplaying Cards is 98% funded, 6 days to go. I don't know how or where it got all this funding because it's just not even a good idea. It's just a whole bunch of stuff on the faces of a playing card deck with no back design, last I checked. And I don't know. I don't know who is pumping all this money in there, but it's... I don't know. I don't think it's very usable for anything. It's kind of hard to use with so much clutter on the faces. Next, we got Essential Playing Cards. I have not seen this one. This is my first time checking up by Mankin Chan. It is 3% funded. 29 days to go. Is it a yay or a nay? <laughs> we'll find out right away. <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> Why not? Um, the faces are kind of interesting and modified. Kind of standard core card. They look kind of familiar to me for some reason. 6,000 euro goal. Second custom project. The other one was the Colterra playing cards. Okay. I am familiar with that one. Um, the faces aren't bad. I mean, the court cards, the faces on the court cards are a little bit eh. But I do like the court card style and the colors. And uh, the modified pips. I guess for me, just looking at them from this distance, it just looks like the faces, you don't see a whole lot of detail compared to the body. You just kind of see eyes more than anything. Um, Ace of Spades is nice. I like that not only is it half dark, half light, but they also got that border around at the edges. That's kind of cool. Adds a little dimension. And the Jokers, they're okay too. There's actually sort of not really a reveal. Unless you want to do like a 4 a trick. And the cards are nice. The back design is... Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not a bad thing, and not, not, I'm not trying to say it's bad, it's, um, fairly kind of simple, standard, it's not bad, it's an interesting way to use pips on a back design, and kind of make it a little bit sort of, sort of subtle, but it's a, kind of a standard back design, simple, um, the stretch goals for silver foil, numbered seals, and interior printing, I 
and to be created by legends to fulfill my gamblers. So that's good. To be shipped out in April 2018. That's a, a good, reasonable timeline. And what are we looking at here for cost? 12, no. 8 euros for one deck, 7 on the early bird. And the fact that there is still early birds available with three days still to go in the early birds. And I don't know when it launched. It might have just launched today. I'm not sure. I haven't. I, I just came across it right now, obviously. But I'm. I mean, the price is good for one deck, seven, eight pounds. Um, but the fact that there's nobody pledging for one single deck as of yet, and there's early birds available in that, nobody's pledged for a single early bird deck, is not necessarily a good sign. And again, they got early birds for two decks at 12 pounds. And again, only two backers for that, for eight uh, uh, eight left for that one, and the 14 year old tier, no backers for that, no backers for this one, couple backers for the free deck tier. So it's a very, so far there's got very little support, and I'm not sure it's going in the right direction. There's other projects, there it is, a Cultura. That one is pretty interesting. I never picked it up myself, um, but it was pretty cool. This one is decent, but I'm not saying it's going to make it at this rate. We'll see. It's definitely worth checking out. Then we got Travel Ban Playing Cards by David Taylor. That doesn't. That sounds extremely racist. It unsurprisingly is 0% funded at the moment with like one or two pledges and 25 days to go. Let's see what this one has to offer. It's an elimination card game. You have what it takes not to not be banned. Alright, that includes, that's included. They got Trump rules, Nambia, and Kofifi Joker cards. Of course, they would do that. And the Ace of Spades is the biggest Trump of all. <laughs> um problem with this is they're showing us one card, the Ace of Spades. It says it's 52 unique cards, and it's a Nambia and a Kofifi Joker. I want to know what the Kofifi Joker is supposed to look like, what it's supposed to be. It should be Trump's face, like, or something like that. Something weird, Trump's face, <laughs> one of his weird poses. And uh, uh, the Nambia, I'm not even sure. I don't know. This $10,000 goal, it is not going to happen. <laughs> not at this rate. Not with one image and an idea and no mention of who is even producing or anything like that. There's no artwork and just something that seems extremely racist in my opinion. Moving along, <laughs> um, Linnea playing cards by Maria is funded. Five days to go. It's an okay deck, not really my cup of tea. Evolve Futuristic Playing Cards by Lynn Nguyen is 38% funded, 9 days to go. May or may not make it at this rate. Um, futuristic, I don't know so much about that. The art is kind of futuristic, but the, the, uh, the whole idea with all sorts of information on the faces about the ranking and the value and the position of the card and all that stuff is completely unnecessary. And, Spelling out what the card is for you everywhere. It's just not a huge fan of that type of stuff. Um, then there's a state playing card. This apparently is you won't even worry about that. It's some kind of computer thing, I guess. Um, evolved playing cards, you know, may or may not make it, I don't know. I'm not digging it. Maiden's playing cards is ninety two percent funded with nine hours to go. See what I tell you, it was slowly climbing up, and now it is going to make it right at the last minute, the 11th hour, um, actually, not even 11th hour, it's 9 hours to go, make sure you check it out, let's get this one funded before time runs out, 
Bicycle Mad World Point Guards from Magic Trick Store, aka Clark World Point Guards, is 98% fun at 10 days to go. Pretty interesting, colorful, unique deck, and it's just a matter of time before it funds. Definitely worth checking out. Lunatica Point Guards by Third Boy Industries. Giovanni is a uh, well funded 20 days to go. There is four decks in that one, two standard decks, unlimited, as he, I think, said, even though they are limited obviously, to some extent, and uh, two limited edition decks. Very cool. Definitely worth checking out. Definitely recommend it. And then we have the Phonograph 5 point cards by Landry Sanders. It is 56% funded, 50 hours to go. Sadly, not going to make it at this rate, but he is planning a relaunch, which is good news, and hopefully it will make it that time. Pyramida, Luxury Point Guards by Triplandia, or Pyramidia, Pyramida, it is 40% funded, free days to go, I don't see it happening at this rate, but anything is possible, and I mean, they're not bad looking decks, they just seem like they were extremely inspired by the um, Mint Point Guards. Speaking of uh, other Point Guard decks, you got the Split Point Guards here. That was a bad, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was speaking of. Um, that's uh, Split Point Guard Standard Edition by Madakal Augustine Varghese, which was previously on the Indiegogo. It's an interesting idea, but not a popular idea. Only 11% funded for this, so not going to happen at this rate. Arcs Point Guards by Lucid52, Charles Glass, is 53% funded, 15 days to go. I'm not sure it's going to make it at this rate, but it does have plenty of time. To get that other, you know, $4,000, $4,500 that it needs. Arbores V2, or V.2, I think it says, playing cards by Empire Arts is 59% funded, 16 days to go. It looks like it may make it at this rate. Who knows? Personally, I would recommend not supporting them, not backing it, because they have knowingly, knowingly, on more than one occasion, taken art from other people's decks and used it themselves, and that's not acceptable in any way. That should not be endorsed in any way. Don Quixote Volume 2 or Racionate by Cellar Window is funded. Five days to go. Definitely worth checking out. I'm hoping that's the last Don Quixote deck. It's, it's already like the third project and fourth deck. Um, but it's pretty nice. Next, we got a new one from. Randy Butterfield at Midnight Cards, which I did a review on the prototypes, posted a review on the prototypes for both of these decks, or three of them really. The other day, you can check out my reviews. Uh, it is doing really well, funded 30 days to go. And there's a few decks in this one. Oh, for God's sakes, what did I do? Hmm, let's see what he pledged for. Come on, let's go back to this project. Ah, I clicked on the wrong thing is what I did. I apologize. Clicked on Randy Butterfield's name for some reason. Yay. So he's supporting various card projects, which is good. Most creators do, I think. Um, so here we go. We got two Knights decks. The Fury Knight and the Rage Knight, and then there's the Draconian Wildfire. I need to double check. I might have done my review as Spitfire by mistake. Um, Early Bird Trifecta, that's what I got. It's no longer available. 28 bucks for all three decks. You can get all three decks right now for 32 bucks. Um, very nice artwork, nice tuck cases. Of course, these are all pointed by the Legends and the Classic Finish. There's also a gilded set you can get. You got green gilding, black gilding, and I guess silver gilding. That's pretty interesting, but pricey, I'm sure. Um, they are beautiful decks. I've always been a fan of the, the draconians, especially. They look very nice. Although it is essentially just a recolor. And these ones, they're pretty interesting. They're all about knights and warriors and. Very cool looking, nice, interesting, different bat designs while keeping the faces fairly um, 
familiar looking, <laughs> we'll see. Um, which is fine. I like them, they look pretty cool, and I do definitely recommend checking them out for yourself. And check out my review of the prototypes on my channel right now. Oh, there's his family. So, yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. That's probably one of the nicer decks that launched this week. Then we got the Cartomancer Poker decks by uh, Alain Benoit. It's currently 60 cent percent funded. 21 days to work. It's got a lot of funding, over $10,000 already. It's slowly getting there. Definitely worth checking out. Recommend it. Uh, having a look at that one. And then next we get to the Free Stooges Official Playing Cards by Chris Chelko. And designed by Jackson Robinson. It's currently doing well, considering it's a Jackson Robinson design, it's doing horrible. Usually a Jackson Robinson deck funds like that. And this one has been live for about 24 hours and has not even come close to funding yet. So I think this one is in trouble financially, but there is still plenty of time. Um, let's get into it. It's a $55,000 goal, which is massive. And I know there's licensing costs and what and whatnot, but if it's going to cost that much to license, I'm not sure it's worthwhile financially. <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of funny because you look at the name of the Windex that were on Kickstarter recently, and they had like five hundred thousand dollars. And I'm not even familiar with name of the Wind. I know it's a series of books or whatever, but I'm not really overly familiar with it. I don't know if there's been any movies on it. At over five hundred thousand dollars U.S. on that one, and the previous versions by Albino Dragon also had over one hundred thousand dollars. And that being said, speaking of Albino Dragon, Albino Dragon has done various licensed decks, and none of them had fifty-five thousand dollars or anywhere near that for a goal. So I'm not sure how this one is so expensive, and like I said, if it's going to be that expensive to license, it's probably not even worth it. Uh, but you get free decks, obviously, because it's the free Stooges. Um, you get the Larry, Larry deck in black, the Mo deck in blue, and the Curly deck in red. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm not even good at impersonating person them, I guess. <laughs> but whatever it does. The Ace of Spades, um, it looks like it's Jackson Robinson Ace of Spades with the Free Stooges logo. <laughs> produced by Oyster Inch, designed by Jackson Robinson. And apparently being produced by USPC, or printed by USPC, I should say. The court cards are. They're okay. They are the Free Stooges faces on what looks like a fairly standard Jackson Robinson court card. It says there are 12 original hand-drawn court cards, but from what I'm, you know, seeing, they even have the uh, depictions of Shemp and Curly Joe, which is fine. It's good. I'm actually surprised they don't do a fourth deck with Shemp, but um, they don't really need it. Um, the thing is, like I said, when I look at these court cards, I see, and it says they're hand-drawn and everything, but I don't know if they are completely original. Um, the faces obviously are original. The bodies of the court guards look like standard Jackson Robinson court guards, which he's used in his tally hole decks and other decks. Maybe some modifications to the bodies. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but they look, when I first saw them, I'm like, they look like Jackson Robinson court guards with different heads on them. And that's more or less what they look like. And the heads. They don't even seem like they belong on those bodies. They look like they're copy and pasted on there, which is not great. Like for these, for this deck, I think the court cards should have been completely different. They they shouldn't have like a, a royal majestic look to the bodies. Make them look more like Curly and Larry and Moe in the bodies. You know, this does not really fit them as far as I'm concerned for the court cards. The Jokers are, of course, Curly and uh, Larry and Moe. Hey, cut that out. Why I oughta? <laughs> um, 
And yeah, I, I saw a, a fair amount of Free Stooges growing up who didn't. And then we get this. You get Free Decks. These are the first edition tucks in the Free Colors. The, prim pri the primary colors there. Taco Black, Deep Red, and Midnight Blue. The back featuring the back design. And then there's some kind of a seal which... It is just red. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's going to be customized and we're just not showing you that yet. Um, the fairly standard tuck bases from what I can tell. And then you get this deluxe first edition set, which first edition, I mean, isn't, let me just double check. This is the first edition. Um, does that mean there's going to be more editions? I don't know. I kind of hope not. I mean, how many times are you going to do this? But there's a deluxe edition, which is um, going to feature three completely custom decks with an upgraded stock. So it's going to have foils, embossing, and UV spot coat ink. And again, I'm not showing you the seals for some reason. Um, which is fine, except that it is completely unnecessary. You look at 90% of the projects on Kickstarter, and they have decks that have all of the above, the foils and the UV ink, and the embossings and debossings, and special or premium uh, stocks and stuff like that, and that is the deck. There is no special limited edition top cases. You look at Jody Eklund's projects, you look at Giovanni's projects, you look at other ones, like uh, Randy Butterfield projects, and, you know, various others, pretty much any project, Natalia Silva, I'm sure, as well, can't be off the top of my head, and they come with beautiful tough cases with all the fixings, <laughs> um, all the special stuff, and, and that's it. That's your deck. They don't, I mean, if you went back a year or two years, you would see a lot of projects um, doing special limited edition top cases with all the fixings and then a more standard one like this. But looking at how nowadays most projects just do a beautiful top case and that's what you get, and they don't go, okay, here's a tuck case, and then here's another one that's more beautiful, but it costs you a lot more money, and the cards are exactly the same. That, I mean, it just seems completely unnecessary to go to the extra expense of producing three different tuck cases, just so you can go, okay, here's a standard tuck case, and then here's a special tuck case for anyone who wants to spend more money on the exact same thing. The cards are the exact same thing in this case. Which is uh, a little bit odd because usually Jackson Robinson, there he is himself, usually Jackson Robinson when he does limited edition decks, he changes the court cards and makes them more special, or well, not really more special, he just changes them a little bit. But at least there's a difference in the cards, in the court cards and the ace and the jokers. In this case, there is no difference. It's just special edition tough cases just because, just for the hell of it. And it's completely unnecessary, and it's probably adding a lot of expense for absolutely no reason. I I don't understand it. Um, let's just have a look at the prices here, by the way. The first edition set is just the four decks, or three decks, sorry, is $40 US, not including shipping. The deluxe edition, $60. That's $20 a deck. The other one is less, it's obviously about $12, $13 a deck, $20 a deck, just so that you can have all the fancy stuff. By the way, you go to some other projects, like Jody Eklund for instance, you can get that stuff and it's like 15 bucks a deck. Most other projects, you'll see. Fergway, look at that one from Giovanni, it's going on right now, the Lumatica. It's like 15 bucks a deck and you get all that special stuff. I mean, yeah, twenty dollars a deck is not that much more, but it's just unnecessary. Um, why would you spend sixty dollars when you can get the the decks for forty bucks? Is you know, I don't know. I'm just.
talking out my ass here. <laughs> uh, then there's a premium collector's box, $125. Apparently, it is a custom-built, handmade, velvet-lined, foam-padded, cigar-style box, complete with detailed foils, bossy UV spot magnetic closer, and letterpress certificate of authenticity. Yeah, it's a little bit more than I thought it was. Originally, I looked at this, and I went, okay, that looks like a, like a regular paper box, and it does kind of just look like a standard, well, it does. It looks like a paper box. It's not wooden or anything like that, but it's got material inside it and some foils and some special stuff. It seems, again, uh, kind of expensive <laughs> for what it is. It does not say that it is a wooden box, and it does not say that it's a metal box. It's just a cardboard box, from what I can tell. Um, and it seems expensive. But it's a nice little collector set, I guess. And there's not a whole lot of options here, as well. That's another thing that's probably hurting them tremendously in this project, is, the, is that you can buy just the free decks, standard edition decks, you can get the free deluxe edition decks, or you can get the premium collector's box. They're not giving you the option to buy just one deck, or two decks. They're not giving you the option to buy six decks, or a brick. There's no brick box. That is what is killing this project, because they're forcing people to buy either free decks, or free decks, or free decks. You cannot get, and I don't even see any way to add anything on either. You cannot get, you know, the premium set and the standard set. You cannot get the collector set and the, the deluxe set. Like, it's kind of weird. That's what's killing the project, I think, is how they put it together. Moving on, I've ranted long enough about this, and probably incoherently a little bit, I apologize. Um, next up, Art and a Patent by Kevin Prince. Well funded, seven days to go. They have unlocked the fourth deck, so it's definitely worth checking out. Um, the New York, New York deck from Mikhail Spatola is 9% funded, 8 days to go, not going to happen. Oculus from Mike Wilson, aka The Doc 318, designed by Randy Budfield, is well funded, 17 days to go. The Fuck You deck is, by OMB Magic, is 69% funded with 14 days to go. May or may not make it. I'm thinking it will. The whole nine cards, punny playing cards, it's a pun deck by Tom Stone, not going to happen. It's 0% funded, 21 days to go. Um, come on. I just want to see how bad this is. Come on, there we go. Each number in board card has a different pun on it, and aces get their own. Ace is a solitary guy. It's my ace in the hole. It's all about that ace, no trouble. I really ace these puns, no brother. And they got just a weird index with a letter inside the pip or a number inside the pip. If that's the bad design, that is absolutely horrendous. And then you look at the, uh, the other cards. The kings all have the same thing. The queens all have the same thing. The jacks all have the same thing. The jokers. Check out his joker face. That's it. This is an absolutely lame, minimal, minimalist deck of cards that I cannot, you know, recommend backing or, or anything like that. I don't even know who's producing it, but it's just, wow. Then you got the Foliage Point Cards relaunched by Ace of Clubs, Magic, and Cards. 25% funded, 12 days to go. Like, not looking like it's going to make it again. Then there's Former Point Cards by TCC Cardistry. TCC Cardistry. 58% funded, 26 days to go. I'm certain it'll fund in a matter of time. Um, what I don't understand is why TCC. Uh, it has launched a third account. It's bad enough that they launched a second account on Kickstarter. But now they have a third account. It's completely unnecessary. 
and ridiculous and it seems a little bit shady in my opinion just sketchy uh, but this one is the former playing cards very cardistry inspired back design is pretty colorful and interesting there's lots of geometric shapes and patterns which has been done like so many times now um, and then the faces they are uh, I'm not overly excited about them they are I mean the pips they're interesting the court cards are kind of interesting but I'm not a huge fan I do like that they have the colors same colors within them what I do think is that since they have all this white space on the court cards they could have either made the image bigger or they could have added in pips on there suit indicators there you see the aces kind of interesting but not really feeling it unfortunately and these are USB produced and they'll be available later on should I change my mind and should you not uh, you know if you're not into, uh, not sure about them yourself check them out later on um, moving on bicycle essentials from Nathan Goldberg it's 21% funded 18 days ago I don't see it happening again Alice in Wonderland playing cards from World Royal is 80% funded 14 days ago it is just a matter of time uh, custom splash painted playing cards. Oh, good lord. Um, this is by Lauren. It's 14% funded, 23 days to Seems like it's a pretty low goal. Hmm. Ah, uh, this takes so long. Um, $2,500 goal. So, may or may not make it. And the faces are completely generic NPC faces. And the back design is a one way back design. And it looks like they got multiple different variations. Why do people do this? Lots of projects and then go, here's five different back designs for you. Do one. Instead of doing five different back designs like this, do one and focus on one and make it great. Not, let's just do five random back designs for the hell of it. They're not that exciting, in my opinion. Um, moving along, Life Deck by Massa Family and Company. 25% funded, sent in this to go. I don't see it happening. Not too many collectors are looking for playing cards that feature sperms and eggs on the back design. Good lord. Um, Planets, Mercury Edition by David Goldclink and aka Vanda is well funded, 8 hours to go. Um, then there's Harmony. There's a lot more decks here than I thought there was <laughs> this week. This is by Rana Mahmoud, who's done a couple other projects previously. It's 5% funded, 31 days to go. Not sure this one's going to happen either, but we'll see. I want to see what else he created very quickly. Um, kind of a purple color scheme on the faces. The court cards are uh, not feeling it at all. Hold the stars in your hands. Which stars is that? Because they don't look like stars to me. Not like the Hollywood stars. I think $7,700 goal. Not going to happen, I don't believe. Limited edition contains between 55 and 68 cards. Are you kidding me? What kind of a deck is that that has 68 cards? Um, standard edition and limited edition. Uh, not feeling it. Not feeling the, the colors. For the suits or the court cards or that back design or anything really <laughs> the back design is kind of horrendous and one way for some reason um so i had to get a close look and the jokers are yeah no this is definitely a pass for me zero interest and i see it's all about the stars out there in space and i don't know her other previous projects include the creatures that Thing, but did not make it. And a board game which she canceled the funny not so this one I don't um I don't see it happening either. Operator deck by Olympus Defense Solutions ten percent funded twenty two days to go. Not gonna happen at this rate, I don't think. 
Deck of Poetic Pinup by Harlan. Carpenter is 90% fun to love in this duo. Really low goal. Obviously, it looks like it's going to fund it this way, but it does not look like it's a usable or even good deck of cards for my cup of tea. Um, see what else there is here. Nothing major. The Sickly Terret, I saw this on the forum. This is by Alpine Ruin. 23% funded, 30 days to go. Uh, I apologize, and I will be right back immediately. This video is taking way too long, that's the reason. I apologize. Uh, this is long awaited, unique hand drawn, 109 card tarot deck. I didn't know it's possible to have 109 cards in a tarot deck. It's taking 10 years to create. Okay. This better be damn good if it took that long to create. Um, the artwork is okay, but it's missing color for my liking. Um, Not really feeling that. I think that to have a color on the faces, make them pop, make them stand out, make them more visual. And sadly, they're not. And they don't even have the traditional suits from the look of it. Actually, wait. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling it personally. Let's move on very quickly here. Come on. Stupid. Fucking, ah, I apologize. Computer's driving me nuts sometimes. Ah, uh, a lot of projects here, but I'm not seeing any more playing card specific projects. Mobile poker. Damn it. That's it for Kickstarter, thankfully. Um, let's move on to some other things. Come on, for fuck's sakes. I apologize for my language. Um, let's close Kickstarter. Let's close this. Come on. Alright. So, let's see. First, I've got this new Royal Blue Gemini decks available from GeminiDecks.com and other card and magic shops. Pretty cool looking. USPC produced, unlike the original Goalway. <laughs> the Gemini decks, which was a lighter blue and were produced by in Taiwan. Um, I, mean, I think there was something in Art of Play. Oh yes, there was. There is... Not a fan of that lucky draw deck, <laughs> um, but that's not the one I was looking for. Bear with me, I apologize, this is crappy. And yes, there is something neutral, is this is the one I'm looking for. The American Pine Plane Guards, 15 bucks. Why is every deck on Art of Play 15 bucks? <sighs> Annoy me. Prices keep going up and up. A lucky draw is not worth 15 bucks in my opinion. And this one is debatable. Um, this is the back design. It's a one-way back design, obviously. Made to look like wood. Which is interesting. Made to look like pine, specifically. And these are printed by... 
they are by block playing cards that's the first one and made by USB C it's as if you're suffering 52 seats of veneer now if you've ever handled veneer you probably aren't going to be able to suffer supple veneer very well um, the ace of spades is it looks like a Christmas tree without decoration it's a pine tree obviously it's okay it obviously is, it's kind of it's pretty fitting um, the court cards are completely standard it is not surprising however really disappointing and no idea what the jokers look like um, or oh, is that the joker it's wood kind of interesting um, it's okay but I kind of prefer the bicycle wood deck myself wow it got really dark here it's getting dark it's getting rain um, but yeah I kind of prefer the bicycle wood deck from collectible cards and max playing cards over this one especially at 15 bucks seems kind of ridiculous um, this is like an eight dollar deck at best in my opinion because it's just standard USB-C um, trying to find something it's not going to be here <laughs> alright let's move on Radia, by the way, the spiritual successor to Aurum, is still available. Pre-order. Um, first, I definitely want to get that. Then get this. Oh yes, one more I need to find here. I can find. There it is. So I came across these on Spill Carton Shop. I well, actually, I probably mentioned it last week. A bicycle black and bicycle white. It's just a black bicycle deck and a white bicycle deck. It seems really kind of boring and plain, especially for what they're charging. <laughs> um, this is the Ambassadors coming soon from Low Trek. It will apparently be affordable in terms of a low trick deck so ie not a hundred dollars <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming pretty nice looking deck however you know I'm afraid it's gonna be like 50 or 60 bucks hopefully not there's the tuck case beautiful and coming soon um, then there's this the first playing cards by Gordon Ramsay uh, sorry not Gordon Ramsay Chris Ramsey, that's somebody else, Gordon Ramsey, it's not point card related. It's an interesting looking back design, although kind of just a pattern with this little border detail. Uh, it is the first playing cards. Apparently coming today, October 1st, but I don't know for a fact if that's happening yet or not. There's a tough case. The faces, I'm guessing, are fairly, actually there's a face, it's not bad. From the looks of that, I'm not going to click on the video though. Um, maybe we will. Let's see what this looks like. I don't know if there's any audio or not. Let's see if it's going to work. Fidget moves. Um, okay, never mind. It's not showing. I apologize. It's not the deck I was looking to see. They're not showing us a whole lot of the faces, so they're probably fairly standard, which is boring. And the back design is so so. It's. Um, I'm not sure, you know, where it's going to be launching. If it's Kickstarter or what. Ah, uh, they're available for pre order. So probably on his website.
or not, not this Ramsey.com, we'll find it. Um, oh, there we go. Duh. Wait, is this the right one? Yes, it is. Let's have a look. Um, Pre-order, 15 bucks. You know how I feel about prices like that. And the faces are standard. I want to see more of the back design. I'm not sure I'm really feeling this deck. The back design is... It's basically as lower. It's a CR, and it says first. I could dig that. Um, the court guards, like I said, are just recolored standard, which is what I expected. So basically, it's his first deck on his website. I mean, obviously, he's done other decks elsewhere on Illusionist. Speaking of Illusionist, they do have something up at the Confessions Series decks. There it is. Illusionist.com slash Confessions dash Series dash Decks dot HTML if you're looking for the link. It's the last three decks in this Confessions Series. And you have to use the code I must confess for 70% off. Because otherwise you're paying $100 for the set. And you should only really be paying $30. $10 a deck. And um, you do not get the Madison Hellions in case you're wondering. That's obviously elsewhere. I was looking for more pictures. I'm not seeing any. But you get the Confessions, the Saints, and the Martyrs. I've shown you them before from Instagram pictures and whatnot. I can show you pictures here, actually. Um, obviously, I picked them up. I've also picked up the second edition of the uh, Hellions, for the hell of it. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> um, but there they are. Martyrs, the Saints. They're pretty cool. They're just uh, more or less kind of recolors. With some possibly some modifications. Definitely I see these creatures in the corners. The people in the corners are different. And um, the standard Madison faces we'll call them. <laughs> and yeah, and actually that might be the V2. That's the V2 Hellions that I'm getting. It's got some different gas cards like this one with the devil hand and and whatnot, but the faces are basically the same as far as I can tell. And the backs and the tuck. But yeah, pretty interesting. We'll check those all out when they come in the next couple of weeks. And that is that. I apologize this video is so long as usual. I will see you next time with more comment, rate, subscribe. Yikes. Yeah, that's a long video. I apologize.